Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment updates. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting actors with me, Nimi Dekombi and Ife Omai. Hello. How are you doing? You know, pop girls, girls today. See babies. <laughs> okay, I have my pop girls with Yay. me. <laughs> how are you doing? Well, how are you guys? Holding good. up. Great. I'm Hand bored. sanitizing. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I'm so bored. Why are you yes. bored? You are work. What would? Yeah. Imagine if you're not at home. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> mm. I'll be depressed. <laughs> okay. You are supposed to be the source of hope to the people at home. Oh, so wow. I mean, I'll just be very happy if behave. I was at home. My God. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's get right into it. Farrell Williams lands um, in hot water for asking fans to donate amid coronavirus to the frontline responders fund. Okay. Um, hmm. So when you read the comments, ah. <laughs> you know people you have Pharrell in mind. Yeah, there yeah. were yeah, a lot of reactions. Mm -hmm. to it. No, a lot of people were like, uh, we are still trying to survive." Is it, is it wrong to call for it's donation? Not. He's not. It's if you not. have, you give. If you don't have, do like I do. Keep scrolling. Like keep mm, scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, if you did something like what um, Charles did. Where he reached out to his fellow privileged people. Okay, yeah. Charles. I mean, Charles of yeah, Charles like, did not say my yeah. followers drop something. Sure. He said my fellow privileged celebrities mm. that I know have money. The big guns. So that, you know, because there was a comment that said, "Why don't you just go and ask your fellow rich celebrities?" Yeah. Because these people that you're asking for donations, every single one of them that are not celebrities, these people are even relying on the U.S. proposed. Stimulus package. But you, do you know that there are, they have followers that actually have money, right? So I, was I mean, oh, the, the, their followers are not all people. I don't think they don't have money that are talking. I, yeah, you know, and, that's yeah, the thing. and I don't think he was asking those people either. Mm. Like, just catch your L's. Like, you don't have money, that's fine. Keeps but that doesn't mean that it's it's he's, he's talking to you. I think that there is an insensitivity that comes from us to these people that we forget that they're human beings and that they're not always thinking about every single person's problem. That's not the job of a celebrity. celebrity. They're not mm. governors, they're not advocates. They're just people living their lives that happen to be really talented and we decided to mm. give them our money. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that they are Jesus Christ that keeps going to save the world. He's asking a simple question. Guys, we need to be together in this. I do have to say though, um, America right now is leading in the deaths of coronavirus. coronavirus yes. They have a lot of people that are dying from this thing. They have a, uh, they're overwhelmed is the word. And they're seeing already a, an obvious recession, which is why Donald Trump wants to open yeah. the, the, the uh, in Easter and all that type of stuff. I think for somebody in that context, it is a bit naive and almost like a slip up. Like you didn't yeah. really think this through to be talking in that manner. There's so many other ways you could have asked that without necessarily sounding like that because you removed yourself from the equation you didn't say guys i'm going to stand the thread if you can't yeah. look at what charles if did you can yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 he said he's dropping 250 yeah so that's like, that if he it, like you said there's a different Could, way yeah. that because mm. a lot of people now keep coming and asking that have you donated yeah they were, he had a lot of attacks and somebody else said read the room yeah. look at the current economic situation yeah. a lot of people are not right now to be honest they yeah. might have but they are not thinking of giving. Yeah, because we're going to be enough. Don't we don't know in like the three, four, five months. We don't know months. when coronavirus is. We are just speculating. Even like when coronavirus is over, we don't know. When, like it's not like the like the if you're in the aviation. I have a family friend that their whole entire family in the aviation yeah. right now. They are not. They're not postponing. They are all jobless, from father yes. to children, and the youngest is like what 25, 26. So it's a bad you situation. You would expect somebody like that to come and give yeah. any so amount. Yeah, so I, I feel like he cannot tell me that he doesn't know that situation. So he should have addressed the people he had in mind. Guys, if you're not hit by this, let's help the others. That would have been better. But to say that, let's come together and be together. If he had pulled a child's uh, Okpaleke, he will not be dragged. Like if I he said, had just sent the message to his fellow celebrities, I, yeah. I know in this situation, where, I mean, we, we were very sensitive before, yes. not talk of now. No. That, you know, no. We're now overly sensitive, but yes. the best thing anyone could have done, except you had him in mind before, which is what I saw in most of yeah. the comments. Except you had him in mind before, it's just read through. Check your account. Well, it did not work for me, Abby. Mm. Please, what's the next TikTok challenge? <laughs> yes, but I don't, think, I don't think it's a viral thing because I noticed there was a trend. Every no, this one is a viral thing because the comments were really personal. They yeah. were bringing out Kills. deaths. Yeah, but yeah, then even so. even even to um, when Kylie Jenner donated, there was backlash. When Kim Kardashian donated, people there are was just backlash. Why? When um, this thing, Mark Zuckerberg. 
donated. They sent Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates donated, I think, 23 million. A lot of people said that's 0 0.0002.38% of their did wealth. They, did they make the money <laughs> waiting for you to I have problems? I have said that you. when Kylie Jenner donated 1 million um, dollars, somebody said that 1 million dollars out of 1 billion dollars? They were already doing the maths and like the calculation. So well, I that, don't that's think that's what happens when thing. platforms it, like Fox and Co. start yeah, to profile your, your business money, yeah. and how much yeah, you have. Exactly. And people begin to forget that they are not telling you the liquid cash they and kept they, in they their house. They are also actually affected they are, by the recession, yes, to be honest. They are. they are losing money. And more money, more problems. Like if, look, if I feel, I think people, what people do when they look at people who have money is that they keep their, they put their um, lifestyle into their bracket. Mm. So it's like a lot of money, but um, she's living in her means and that money is probably not enough for the type of lifestyle she already for, has. To maintain to her maintain. lifestyle a day will probably maintain your lifestyle in months. <laughs> or, the, your, so, or your li maintain your <laughs> lifetime for your lifetime. Yeah. Ah, so like that. The sensitivity <laughs> is not just what. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's move on from that one to Please. this one, which says, all these men sliding in my DM to shoot their shot is the same old tired lines. Funny thing is, no one has asked if I'm okay or need anything. Not that oh. I do, but it's the thought that counts. You want to date someone but can't be bothered about how they're faring during these times. Um, not even if you need anything, let me know. Or if you just need to talk, holla, and they expect a reply. I will never date a selfish person. Being there, done that, never again. And this mm. is coming from Tony Pay. I think the most important thing is being there, done mm. that, never again. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that's the highlight yeah. of my statement. You know, because I, I don't know if this is like... I think this period, I mean, when shade. I was reading her post, mm -hmm. it hit me hard. Uh -uh. And I feel... <laughs> totally. I, I mean, I'll touch I you, feel like right now, after reading her post, it's very clear oh, that mm. I don't have a toaster. So, oh, wow. after coronavirus, <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested, if you have sense Shoot at that shot. time, slide into my DM. But right now, I'm just saying, if you're watching, nobody, like, I don't have any toaster because they are absolutely useless. Wow. Well, Thank you. Wow. In advance. Wow. Okay, so I guess a lot of people have <laughs> Tony's pain. The only one, the one thing I know though that happens a lot with women is that we expect to be um, perfect. Yes, or, or uh, you know, checked in or, or whatever, but we don't do the same either. Um, if I, I had a guy, I was eyes. I don't, said, if I had a guy, I was eyes. She, she's right not the one eyes. She's they are the ones. They are the ones who put it in their seat. If, she if she's clearly interested, if she's not interested, she's not be making all this rant. No, now. she's this interested. Not be interested. No, no, she's not interested <laughs> in any particular one of them. She's interested in meeting someone and having someone good. Yeah. But it's more like an audition thing. So you go to a company. But why? 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 And you said the company is not also giving you. Why is she also auditioning? Because she's literally on her own. They are the ones who are. Oh, but I get what you're saying though, because. Going back to what I said initially, at least I have guys that I really <laughs> like that I'm eyeing, you yeah. know. But I've also done the little like can to send them messages. Yeah, like, how, how are you doing? doing? Yeah. Um, of course, I'm not saying if you need anything, ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> but I've I've been able to reach out to say yeah. I hope you're doing. Good. I feel like I feel like and that's when that, I would yeah. judge someone. Like mm. I've stared up the notion. I have kicked the first domino. If it doesn't triple, if you don't now like send that. Um, language Energy back rap. to me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can rap like this. But um, I, I, I find that a lot of women just sit back and be pretty and expect the man to just do all the work. Like, they also have feelings. I click on them too. If anything, the men are feeling more scared because they're the ones that have to take care of the family and they send you money if they actually enter that relationship that you mm -hmm. are hoping for. You know, there's a lot of, like, stuff that is affecting them. So it would just be nice to, like... Personally, I just uh, feel like maybe know. she's not that interested in them. Ah, uh, she I is. Think, this I is on social media. She know, is interested. No, she's, she's interested actually kind of like a public not figure. In them. Mm -hmm. She's interested in having something a relationship at least that's the least it can be i, I don't think i don't know about marriage because i don't yeah. know yeah. what she's What's done it before marriage? so yeah. we don't know if she wants Being to do it done that. right hmm. but definitely she wants something so yeah. you wanting something means that you are open to the option yeah. and when the options that are in front of you are not making sense yeah. exactly. you have the right to so that, that's to just what yeah, I, I think that's think. where she is right i think now. that's where she's coming from she's mm -hmm. like she has an expectation yeah. That instead of just and sliding into them no with old lines, her, does that, she mean like friends as well, or just like no? no, no I think about the guys. In so DMs imagine that everybody just all in your DM like, "Hi, what's up? What's up? Fine girl." They're not asking really you that. They're not asking that. Nigerian are you stars are so really dumb. Really yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. Mm. I, I feel That's okay. Really I feel like we should move on. <laughs> okay, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry responds to Donald Trump refusing to pay their security costs. Donald um, Trump tweeted, I'm a great friend and admirer of the Queen and the United Kingdom. It was reported that Harry and Meghan, who left the kingdom, would reside permanently in... Um, 
Canada. Now they have left Canada for the US. However, the US will not pay for their security protection. They must pay, end of quote. However, the, um, the spokesperson for the couple notes that they were never intending to use the United States publicly funded resources, saying that privately funded security arrangements have been made. Also, Meghan and Harry beat success Instagram page farewell as they officially step back as senior royal members. And that happened yesterday, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's very interesting. This is one story that I'm holding dearly to my heart because I feel like I'm one of the minorities that believe in these people mm -hmm. and believe in like just a, a couple just making decisions for themselves. I've had my personal little life, I've had to make very alternative um, decisions that have really um, hurt a lot of people. But I know why I'm doing it and I feel like I have to have the right to make my decision. Even if you are terrified or quote unquote, you love me so much, you're scared, I still need to have the decision. The the overall decision to make it to make whatever um, lifestyle I want for myself, you know, and I feel like they're doing that. Hopefully, hopefully, this does not <laughs> bite them back in the, you know, mm -hmm. the down there. But mm -hmm. I'm hoping that you know this gives them some type of freedom and all of that type of stuff. For John, John Trump to come out and say that he's not going to pay for their security is very petty, obviously. I think that's irresponsible of him. I mean, I'm 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 not a big fan of Donald Trump, and I'm also not a hater of Donald Trump. I just look at what he does and. Kudos to him for holding the economy up till now that we're yeah. battling COVID, right? But it wasn't necessary. No, like it this wasn't. is this is you coming to put people that are somewhat already down down yeah. further because yeah. there are so many people who are not comfortable with the fact that Meghan and Harry are leaving the, the, yeah. the kingdom and yeah. It's not even their personal... I'm not even talking about the people in the UK right now. I'm talking about people all over the world. That yeah. is not exactly their direct problem. But they have personal issues. We all have personal opinions, personal theories, um, thinking, oh, this is Meghan's fault. Oh, this is Harry's fault. Yeah. Oh, Harry has been rebellious. So you, as a, the president of the United States of America, should not be meddling in that kind of conversation. If you think you're not going to pay um, the security bills or whatever, it's just for you to say it in your office. Yeah. Let them carry out the the information to them and move on with your life but coming to put yeah. it in the public is and what a, i'm not quite it's, it's even yeah. petty especially if they didn't even reach out to him in the in first place, place. Okay. Say, it seems like they really didn't i think it creates costs. a ripple effect of the hate that's already happening i think they're trying to find peace and and to, um, Trump cannot tell me he's ignorant to think that his um, words don't have an effect he's on people. He's trying to prove because being friends with the Queen. I don't understand. He's trying to prove loyalty. Yeah, mm -hmm. because then what you're doing is that you're creating already a hostile environment for them coming into that place. But I'm sure, I'm sure that Americans, to be honest with you, I think Americans would be a better host in receiving these people than um, Canada. Than Canada, for sure. The attitude of the mi and the mindset, they're not, they're not obsessive. It's not like a cult or how it is in the UK with their whatever. And there's a beef already between both of them in terms of citizens. So I think yeah. they'll be fine. And Megan has a stronger, social, healthy, normal life. Like, they'll be able to visit normal people and things like and that. And also so, be able to do her job. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I mean, she's going to work on Disney. I'm sure that'll be the first thing she'll do when coronavirus yeah. um, gets so, up. Um, so. There have been a lot of controversies anyways as regards their move from Canada because at the start of their Canada, when they were staying in Canada, Canada was the one that was paying for their security costs. Right. Then they cut them off because they were no longer members of the royal family. Then right. it was like yeah, the cutting off will start tomorrow, first yes. of April. Yeah. So they cut like Canada cut their security costs. So people were speculating that that well, was. It wasn't totally Canada. It was Canada. Canada in collaboration with, with the, the royals. Yeah. So it was yeah. more like a what's the word now subsidized arrangement. Yeah. yeah. But the anyway, side. they just said that they were no longer yeah. covering their security costs. So they moved to the US. A lot of people even questioned their move during this global pandemic because yeah. they just moved recently. And for me, I felt like it didn't really make sense. Canada does not have a high case. Yeah. Of, the cases in Canada as compared to the US is it's, very, yeah. very, there's a huge difference. Mm. So moving like from Canada, so yeah. yeah. it's possible fire, so they like expected that. that um, so US I think that that was that. the reason why Donald Trump tweeted that because he might he have thought have. that they had expectations that you, the United but States of America I get what you're saying, saying, but shouldn't have brought it to Twitter. Oh, of course, nobody's saying, nobody's saying you have to pay. Donald Trump was just like petty. Okay. I, I, you're right, though. If you put it that way, then it has to be something really extreme that's moving, yeah, that, them, to moving them from Canada. Because Apple for me is like walking through fire right now. Like Why are you the chances going back of you to getting US? burnt is like the chances really of hard. them getting coronavirus is higher in the United States like than staying in Canada. Con like you don't have security planning. Exactly. Like you have to do normal human being things. I wish so, them okay. the best. I, I, I wish them all. We wish them the best, but it's time for a quick break. And when we come back, we have more to discuss.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time Plus TV Africa. Hollywood actor arrested for misdemeanor shoplifting. According to reports, he was arrested after he left a grocery store with some items without paying. TMZ reported that Miguel returned to the same store a few days later, but he wasn't allowed inside and cops were called. Miguel was arrested and given a ticket, but wasn't taken to the station as Los Angeles cops are not booking and jailing people for minor offenses during the coronavirus pandemic. Speaking of the incident, Miguel said he did not steal the items. He told TMZ that he was in a long line to check out and he got tired of waiting and left with his item, but intended to return another day to pay. He said when he returned, he tried to pay for his $200 worth of groceries and the store manager told him no and that he wasn't special. That was when they called the cops on him. Mm. Bad belly? Okay. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Uh, $200 um, worth of groceries is a lot mm -hmm. of groceries. So I'm guessing he's stacking up and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, for, I, 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 to be honest with you, I choose to believe him on this one. I, I do believe it because it's something I can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, I do choose to believe him. I know that um, there is racial profiling um, and there is a different type of treatment for black celebrities that don't do very well. I mean, mm -hmm. that go from grace to grass. Um, so they, they, I, you cannot tell me that there isn't an element of truth where there will be like an, a, 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 an extra meanness towards somebody like that. Or like, well, do, sorry do to you know you, aside from racism and someone coming from grace to grass, there is also that thing about people who are in so privileged when they think they have the power to teach a privileged person right. a lesson. Yeah. So mm. all reasoning flies out and mm. I have to show you that I this is my own power. space, yeah. I have power. Yeah. And I think yeah. that is what yeah. happened in this yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I really don't think that he would... Um, um, first of all, be stealing. And then come back there again. Come back there again. Except maybe he thought, okay, that was successful, let me go. <laughs> no, and I don't think <laughs> he'll do that because yeah. he still has a little bit of fame. Yes, he doesn't yeah. that much. So I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I want oh, to... He has the fame for him to get on TMZ for even shoplifting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, that. he was doing $200 grocery shopping. Like, mm. people don't do that. On a, $200 grocery shopping is a lot. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Calculate it's a lot. Like, what are you even eating? Even now, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not that... And, and, and food can be very basic in mm -hmm. like the shop that they were talking about like it's not like some type of like luxury yeah, shop or so he kind of kind of bought it a lot and i'm sure he went there with the idea that he's spending that, that amount of money um, and I, you have to think about like his character and everything like that's mm. coming to play as well we've never had a history of or heard anything exactly. anything ever for a black man like if they were sitting in that money it will have come out a long time ago mm -hmm. so you know he hasn't so i i really want to believe the story so yeah. but it, it is still embarrassing to mm -hmm. me that you know that would even like be attached to your name but it's um, a COVID situation we yeah. Yeah. Give it. And again, <laughs> another thing I wanted to say is that if there was no coronavirus pandemic, it would have blown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. It would have most likely even made it to court. It would have been yeah. held in a cell. Mm -hmm. You know, because we are still talking about racism and all yeah. that. It would have it would have been bigger than what it is right. now. Because they said the only reason why they did not take him to jail was because they are trying to reduce people yeah. because of the coronavirus yeah. pandemic. Yeah. I'm like, okay. So if there was no coronavirus pandemic, he would and have he was ready this to pay. Like... I mean, he even came back to the store to pay. So I don't understand what the big it's deal okay. is. It's okay. Now that our dear shop owner has, or shop manager, not even the owner, has yes. exerted his, his own his level power. of privilege yeah, and power. I hope, I hope he okay. feels good. Yeah. And I hope he's now a celebrity. <laughs> Moving on, Drake shares first photos of his son, Adonis, and pens down emotional message. So the message he penned down, people are saying the message is for his son or something. But I, after reading that, I don't think that message is for his son. I think, yes, he's connecting to a lot of things in his life right now. And I think for me, he's kind of saying that this is the time for people to sit back, look inward, 
and forgive people they need to forgive, reach out to people they need to reach out, basically build relationship and build bonds. And I think for now, he's using it to build that bond with his son. So that's yeah. what I got. I don't know if you two I saw think, something I else. think the reason why people said it was a letter to his son, because I think that when the boy was born, there was a controversy yeah. because he, didn't, he denied, mm -hmm. you know, he denied the boy and mm -hmm. everything. I know, so I but think reading it line is, by line is not, I mean, if he wants his son to forgive him, can the son read all those episodes? Like, <laughs> I, I don't think it was for his son. Yeah. I think he was speaking from a broader perspective, but of course, is the son a center of that piece? Yeah, or yes. what state yes, of, of yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also interesting to see that the responses of the child, I mean, the, 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 what I'm about to say has happened with Beyonce as well when she yeah, started definitely. posting blue eyes but the criticisms about how the child looked was um yeah it was really trending intense. yesterday yeah. this boy yeah uh it's really sad that they, these kids go through that i think they were they would know when they get older yes, that, that's course. happened i mean i can really see with uh, with um blue ivy that she's really like doing white, more white passing things but i think beyonce is quite aware she's like doing a good job in like curbing this i'm still making her try to she's feel some comfortable girl for a girl come on. yeah so because i know i noticed that for her birthday after the first time they were asked to like come her hair and shrink the nose and all that type of stuff she had like a flat like a first a flat, iron. flat perm and that's kind of like how it starts i'm not saying that flat perm is only for white people but you get what i'm, sorry, I'm trying to say yeah. but back to drake's son he is very white passing and i think people don't really really realize how drake in himself is also white passing yeah. i think drake just really embodies um the black culture so well like he's one of the few celebrities that i can beat my chest and say this guy doesn't have colorism issues and he finds all all tones um very beautiful i can't say the same for for chris brown, chris brown for example um so it's really it's really nice for me to see that and that's why i, I feel like as a black woman that gets the burnt of colorism, I, I I have to want almost like defend him. Like guys, no, don't do that to his son because of all people, not that anyone deserves it, but especially not him. Um, mm. it is it is going to be a privilege for the boy to be white passing and good luck to him. Like I'm not gonna say like that's a bad thing, but um, they also need to understand that this guy, his parents are more white than black. Exactly, which is where I wanted to even come from because a lot of people not only, you know, insulted the boy, they also questioned if Drake was really his the father. Because a lot of people were saying that, oh, because the boy is blonde, he has blue eyes. So somebody now puts the picture of the boy alongside Drake's mother. And there's a huge resemblance. So I, I, I think... So this why is, is the one picture of, of the boy's mother not coming in play at all? No, not the boy's oh, mother. No, I, 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 I get what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Why is the picture of the boy's mother not coming into play? What do you mean? Like, because if you want to place um, Drake... Um, mom with the boy. Maybe we should find a way to so that they can people that are asking questions yeah, yeah. can now look right. and know where she, where he got all the features. People are trying to do the genetics really and all of that. Yeah, yeah, it's very very um, un unnecessary. And it, a lot of people are saying that this is this is the reason why a lot of celebrities hide their, their children, children mm -hmm. away sure. from social media. Yeah. Because I saw you know still Beyonce's daughter Blue Ivy. They were comparing her to. Um, Northwest, the yeah. Kardashians' daughter. There was, you know, when Blue was younger, there was a lot of comparison. A lot of people said she had Jay Z's jeans. Mm. A lot of insults. I think that Beyonce's jeans are insults. Jay Z's jeans are just black jeans. That's exactly. What it is. And because if you yeah. notice that now with the twins. A lot of people don't actually know yeah. how the twins well, look like. Even, she has been protecting... Letter, you know the features like thick nose, thick mouth. Yeah. These are all like serious black, serious black, black features. features. She has been protecting... We hate ourselves. You know, it's a problem. And look at the audience. Features. Every one of them are black people. All of yes. them are black people. They're the ones that have a problem with the tone of the black. Like growing up, I didn't see anything wrong. Okay, uh, see. Let Colorism me, is let, an inherently black problem. Yes, because even, even for my man, for example, who is a white man, by the way, if I if I show him like a, a, a friend of mine that's mixed race or whatever, like mixed race looks white, he still says it's a very beautiful black lady. White people to to uh, to them, all of us are the same. They know that we're not white. We're all the same. It is black people that are like, nah, this one light is more light skin. skin. And this one is like this. This one's caramel. And yeah. this one has like mixed race hair. And it, it, we have an inherent hate with ourselves. And the perpetrators of this black thing or this mm -hmm. um, shade are the men. I don't even think the light skinned women have anything to do with this. I don't think they actually want it. I'm obviously that enjoying the privilege, of Definitely. course. But um, I, I think that the black men are the ones that are even like, writing this um energy and stuff yeah. he just needs to protect his um his son i'm i'm, I'm i don't know I, I i feel like it's a bit insensitive to say but i don't think his mother can protect him from that because she does not understand anything yeah, she about colorism the but people that somebody needs to step in and, and the people protect that have been attacking the boy the most are not white people they are black people yeah. saying that oh my god drake must be feeling sad because his eurocentric genes took over and i've been seeing a lot of mean comments about the yeah. boy and i was like i understand if drake did not you know if he hit 
the boy away from the world for this long. I think those are the kind of long. accounts that uh, Twitter and Jack need to start closing down. Honestly, to be honest, I don't understand it's, why it's they just... Hateful. It's, it's still interesting to even know that Twitter is closing people's accounts in this situation. But if they have to still be doing that terrible job, they should close the right account. It's really those yeah. yeah. children. Yeah. Yeah. I feel children. like that's a no, That's no. like, yeah. there should be I mean, lines that should not be If crossed. you take it to Nigeria, we also had T. Blaze, is that her name? The T. Boys. T. Boys. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I feel like hers is a different her thing, uh, though. Like, please, that was mm. what I was going to say. Let's not get to them because yeah. that auntie, I don't understand. Yeah, that. I feel like I, I that know. was too much for what was even said. I don't know. Oh, because she was <laughs> anyway, crying. Yeah, did you watch the video ugly. and did you see the comments? I so, saw the comments. Agree, I it, like it made me really was. worried. I felt like, do you actually agree with this comment? Because there's no reason why you should be that emotional about you somebody calling your child ugly. Now that she looked at her child, I think I feel like I know. I don't feel like she looked at her child and she felt maybe there have been comments like that before in the past. Mm. Of course. Maybe she that was she what No, there was, was no past. With there was no past. That was the first time she was showing the child. Yeah, the mean, comments from the past were when I want to see the face. Yeah. We want mm. to see your child's face. And she kept protesting the face. So and then finally she showed her like, oh, so this is the face you'll be hiding. That is what caused No, no, no. That, was not, that was not what the person said. What did the person say? I think the person called her child ugly. No. There was a comment that called you need the to child go and ugly. The one she munched and put in her video, that was not uh, that was not ugly. That, well, we need to check it again, but that's how I'll wrap up this episode <laughs> of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and um, do visit our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa, to catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content. And also, please do subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Arzu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my pop of girls, Ife Omai and Nemi Dekombi and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please stay safe and stay home.